The main challenges I see my customers facing are ones of they deal with massive amounts of data and there is a real desire to essentially analyse that data with a better level of, of detail than they do just now. Uh, collaboration with, with multiple organisations across the world would massively improve the outcomes that they are looking for. So collaboration on a global scale is absolutely a key challenge for my customers today. I think the challenges that remain are analytical challenges and one of the major challenges is just having enough data so that we can make some sense out of some of the alterations that we see and of course the last challenge and I work in the oncology area is seeing alterations that are actually actionable and having more in our armamentarium to, to attack those types of things. We have to focus um, on producing new standards um, for uh, for data generation, for data analysis, but especially for the field of um, data integration, because when you want to integrate the different data from the different technologies, and this is actually what is needed for personalized medicine and also for systems medicine. We have uh, uh, predictions for drugs, for biomarkers, and people nowadays keep saying that you have to validate these predictions that you have. And I think that we're going uh, to focus on validation as well as getting more data to improve our deep learning in predictions and analysis. In the area of uh, genetic disease where we work, it's important to analyze data that's been collected around the world. It's important for uh, especially rare genetic disease where you're able to bring in information from many, many different centers. So one hospital might only see a certain type of condition once, twice, three times, and it's important to analyze lots of data so you can get uh, data uh, on similar patients in other areas to improve the rate of making a uh, diagnosis for those patients. 